Tonight is an opportunity for us to recognize the Veteran of the Year from Milwaukee County. Our organization has been recognizing somebody since 1962. The reason it's important is because these people have dedicated a very large amount of their life to serving people. For me, it, it just don't stop. I mean, you just do whatever you think is right, and uh, you, you don't really, you know, do things to be recognized. But it's nice to be recognized. The men and women that are serving in uniform today are still the best in the world, hands down, no question about it. And they're hard workers. And I think this generation, particularly millennials, gets a bit of a bad rap on hard work. My experience with these people, the millennials that have joined our military, is they're the hardest working people you ever meet, just like the rest of us. And I'm very proud of them. And they're patriotic. They love our country, just like we do. Many of us will recognize this dedicated, energetic, and loved veteran. It is my great privilege and honor to announce our Veteran of the Year, George Banda. I am humbled by this award and honored. Um, I almost feel like I, I, I don't do enough and I kind of feel guilty being up here because I'm thinking there are so many others that should be up here. And I see them out here now. I didn't get here by myself. I did not. I had help, a lot of help. Role models. When I was wounded in Vietnam and I was uh, in a hospital, feeling like I was going to die, uh, a nurse, a young, pretty nurse, came up to me and held my hand and lifted me up and said, I'm here to take care of you. Do not worry. I'll stay with you. And since then, nurses have been so close to my heart, uh, they're special angels. I was wounded May 6, 1970, and we were attacked that morning at 5 a.m. I remember it so well. 300 uh, North Vietnamese soldiers, and we were 30. I thought to myself, George, today you're going to die. There was a purpose. I didn't know it then. The purpose was for me to be here for me to take care of my veterans, my brothers in arms. I live a life. I try to live a life worthy of their sacrifice. They're phenomenal people. They are the leaders in the community. They are advocates for veterans. They help the veterans, and in turn, they also help the community. I belong to the Military Officers Association of America. And our motto is never stop serving. And these people, especially the Veterans of the Year, uh, typify that motto. Oh.